thanks to reforms introduced by the Sale and Supply of Alcohol Act 2012, bars throughout the country will be closing at 4am. Adults can be fined for giving alcohol to minors who aren't their own children, and bars stand to lose their licences if an intoxicated person is on their premises. Police now have the powers to enforce the new laws, and patrons and licensees infringing them can expect to be handed out instant fines. Uh, we've now got the ability to issue infringement notices for more offences. Um, so previously a liquor ban offence was dealt with by either a warning or an arrest. And now we have the ability to write a, an infringement notice for that, that offence. This card is a new tool police will be using from today to help assess the amount of alcohol a person has consumed. It helps everybody understand exactly what it is police are looking for when it comes to intoxication. The new Act clearly defines someone who is intoxicated as someone who is affected by alcohol, drugs or other substances and is displaying two or more of these conditions. It puts the, the people in the hospitality industry really on notice that we're serious about alcohol harm and it's just another, it's another tool, it's another mechanism that we can use to reduce that harm in the, in the city. And that harm in the city due to alcohol-related offences takes up 50 to 70% of police resources on a Friday or Saturday night. And it's the new laws that Paulin hopes will make an impact on improving New Zealand's drinking culture and reduce the harm caused by excessive drinking. Today's the first day of, of, of the new Act, so it's business as usual for us. Uh, obviously we're coming into... New Year and it's, it's a busy time for us in the, all the holiday hotspots and, and here in, in the Octagon in, in Dunedin. So there's extra staff frosted on for those times. So for those out excessively drinking this summer, police will be able to exercise their right to hand out a fine ranging from $250 to $2,000. And for licensees breaking the law, they can expect fines of up to $10,000. D. Karen, 39 Dunedin News.